Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share with you my puzzle haul video for the month of December. Now there are going to be three additional puzzles and I'm going to show you them from the outset but they're all right here. All these puzzles came in from the Black Friday Cyber Monday sale and or sales plural. Some came from White Mountain, some came from Puzzle Warehouse, some came from Amazon, and some came from Target, I believe. I think those were the th and one came from eBay. Those were the central places where I got these puzzles. But to start the video, I'm going to add in three puzzles. And the reason I'm going to show you these three puzzles is last December, December 5th, in fact, I got the iCollect app and I added in about 250 puzzles. Well, that collection has grown to double that size because now I'm at 442 puzzles. But I noticed that I had three puzzles on my shelves that were not included in the app because when I was using the iCollect app in the beginning, I struggled with how to add in puzzles that didn't have a UPC code. Now it has one, a UPC number, right? Or an ISBN number, I'm sorry. It has one, but it's a generic puzzle, so therefore it doesn't come up. So I never added it to my app. So this is a gradient puzzle, very similar to a couple of flower gradient puzzles that I have, but I did check my stash and I haven't quite done one exactly like this. So I'm going to try to do it. I can't speak to the quality of the pieces. As you can see, it's still shrink wrapped. So I have no idea other than to tell you it is a knockoff puzzle that was produced in China. The next puzzle that I added just yesterday to the app is this Kodak bright, vivid puzzle called Autumn in Harrisville, New Hampshire. And I'm gonna bring it down a little bit to avoid the glare. It's a beautiful fall puzzle. It's going to be pretty challenging, but I will work on it next fall and I'm looking forward to it, especially since I now have three Kodak puzzles in my collection and I haven't done any from that brand yet. The other uh, Kodak slash crazy art puzzle I have in my collection has quite a long name. It's traditional old buildings and tulips in Amsterdam, Netherlands. And here you have it. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit to avoid the glare. And I know this one is going to be a challenge, but I'm definitely going to do it. And like I said, I now have three Kodak puzzles in my collection, so I'm glad to have this one, and I'm also glad to have added it into the app. Now, we're going to go through four small box puzzles before I get to some of these bigger box puzzles. And the first one I want to show you in this stack right here is Coco Break at the Copperfields. It is a Charles Wysocki puzzle. I showed this in my December uh, to-do pile, but I'm showing you again in this video. Now, I generally don't get a lot of 500-piece puzzles, or I used to not get a lot of 500-piece puzzles, but of late I have been because sometimes it's a nice break from a 1,000-piece puzzle. Also, this is a Charles Wysocki puzzle, and I love Wysocki. And lastly, it's a winter-themed puzzle, so I will be doing it this month of December. So copper, excuse me, Cocoa Break at the Copperfields, and I'm giving you a good close-up look at it. It's a Buffalo 500-piece puzzle. This puzzle here might have ended up in this pile by mistake because I have three piles. I have the, my November finishes, my December to-do, and my new puzzles. So if you've seen this before, I apologize, and if you haven't, you can look at it now. It's called Cat's Comfy Spot. It's a Steve Reed puzzle. And I love Steve Reed. And I think I put this in my December pile to do, so it might have ended up in the wrong pile. But if you haven't seen it, here you go. I love cat puzzles and 750 piece puzzles is a nice sweet spot for me. And I am going to enjoy putting this one together. And again, it's Cats by Steve Reed. And then I have another gradient puzzle, quite similar to that generic one I showed you. And this Brilliance puzzle is a 550 piece puzzle from Masterpieces. 
And obviously, as mentioned, it's a gradient puzzle and it's called Sun Succulents. Now, what I like about these puzzles, what I have learned about gradient puzzles is not to start the easy section first. It's to start the difficult red orange sections first and then work my way down to the easier sections. Because you notice that there's not much pink, there's not much green, there's very little blue. And so I will forever now start gradient puzzles with the more challenging area for me, which are the reds and the oranges. My eye does not catch gradient puzzles as well as it should. So I'm just gonna keep buying these until I get good at it. Cause I, I love it, I love them. The last small box that I'm going to show you is this Downtown City View puzzle from Masterpieces. It's a 1,000 piece puzzle. And as we get further in this video, you'll see another puzzle that's rather similar to this, which is a White Mountain puzzle. But I noticed that on my shelves, I have other puzzles like this with slender bookshelves and lots of slender books and also with a window scene. So th this really appealed to me, this Masterpieces puzzle. I think I got this from Target, if I'm not mistaken, but I love it. And if possible, I'll try to put some of these in the description, but because they weren't all from Amazon, I, I may not be able to do that. Then I'll show you this one, this Dr. Seuss puzzle from USAopoly. I've already completed this puzzle, made the video and everything, but because it is a new puzzle since I have done my last haul video, this is the opportunity I have to share it with you again. I loved this puzzle. It was very easy to put together because there are nine book covers and I just worked on one cover at a time. So a thousand divided by nine is roughly 111. So it was like 900 piece puzzles. So I love doing this one. Now we're going to get to the bigger puzzles. So it looks like I only got, oh no, I did get a few Ravensburger. Let me show you this Ravensburger puzzle first and then I'll show you some more in a few moments. This Ravensburger puzzle is called Floral F Reflections. It's yet another gradient puzzle, something that I love. And it's only 500 pieces. So whereas I showed you the Masterpieces Brilliance one, which is 550, I've got a couple of smaller count gradient puzzles that I'll be able to put together. This is going to be interesting because it's not going up at an angle, which is what a lot of gradients do, but it's just different columns. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And I think I might have put this in my December queue. Not quite sure, really. Now, let's just stick with the uh, Ravensburger puzzles, which are right here in the center. Okay, I've got three stacks left. In this stack here, I have nine circle of colors jigsaw puzzles. There's 13 or 14 in total, but I've been able to collect nine. The other ones are only available in the UK. And if you get them on Amazon, they're shipped from the UK. So they're in the range of $30 up per those puzzles that I don't have. But these are the ones that I was able to collect and I'm super duper excited. This one here, I actually got on eBay and this one is called Desserts. And they're all circle of puzzles. The next nine that I'm going to show you, they're all Ravensburger in a different shape box than I've ever had. Because Ravensburger has the big rectangular boxes. They have the thick square boxes. They've got this thin rectangular box and now they've got a square box. So I, what is that, four different Ravensburger boxes. So I'm not quite sure where I'm going to store these. They're not going to fit with these Ravensburger puzzles here, but we'll find a place for them. I always do. So this one is called Desserts. Now, when you look at the Circle of Puzzles, Circle of Colors puzzle, puzzles, you'll notice that some of them look rather similar. So I won't do them back to back to back. I'll spread them out so that I'll be able to really enjoy doing them. This one here is called Rainbow Cake, another Circle of Puzzles Ravensburger puzzle. Now this one looks like it's going to be a challenge because I only see really three colors. I see blue, blues and greens, yellow, yellows and pinks. So I, I'm interested to see how I do with this puzzle. My next circle of puzzles 
puzzle is called Flowers. And here you go. And this reminds me of one of the evil round puzzles that I've done. And I've got to find that evil puzzle because this is very, very similar to that one. But this one is called Flowers. It's a, kind of a gradient theme. And a lot of these are kind of gradient type themes when you think about it. Now this one here is called, sorry, my cat just came over. This one here is called Poke, Pokey Bowl. I think you say the E is a long form E. And this one here is going to be fun, but I think it's gonna be just as challenging as that cakes one that I just showed you, but I'm looking forward to doing it. I love that these puzzles are only 500 piece puzzles because it gives me a chance to break up my long stack of 1000 piece puzzles. Another circle of puzzles one that I have is called animals, simply called animals. Again, gradient type. You just have your your seven or eight colors and then your images within the colors. And in this case, the images are various animals. You see a panda bear, you see a toucan, you see a tiger, you see alligators and all these different animals. So it's going to be a lot of fun pulling these animals pieces out of the boxes and putting them together in this puzzle. Very, very much looking forward to doing that. My next circle of puzzles is ice cream. Look at this one. I love these puzzles. I don't even know how I happened upon the first one, but boy, did I try to collect them all. I will eventually get them. Maybe in January, I'll get the more expensive ones. Like I said, the ones that are uh, coming from the UK, but this one is going to be a lot of fun. This ice cream, uh, 500 piece Ravensburger puzzle. Now we're getting down, the next two are ones that I really, really, really love. This one here is called Ocean. That's all simply called Ocean. I thought this was one of the more beautiful of all of the different circle of colors puzzles. I love this one. Yes, I know it will be a challenge with all of that deep blue, but boy, does it look like it's just going to be glorious. So I'm looking forward to doing this one. Next puzzle is my favorite of these circle of colors puzzles, and this is called Fruits and Vegetables. I don't know why this is my favorite of them, but every time I look at it, I kind of want to put everything to the side and work on this, but it's not going to get done in December. And so it's going to get done in January or February because I've got a big queue right now. But I love this one. And I think what I love the most about this puzzle is this purple, this cabbage. It's just, it's just so lovely. And look at how vivid that red is right there. And then this yellow. So this is my favorite of the circle of puzzles. Yes, I love the ocean one, but this one really caught my eye. Now this last one, boy, is gonna be hard. This one is called Donuts. <laughs> Tell me that's not gonna be a difficult puzzle, even though it's only 500 pieces, but I know it's going to knock me for a loop. But you know me, I love a challenge and I love series and I love collecting. Okay, so we're going to get ready to look at another collection that I have. But before I start showing you that collection, I'm going to show you this one that I thought it was the one that my friend Hope did with her cousin and her cousin's husband, but it's not. But I loved it anyway. And look at this one. This is a Masterpieces Jigsaw Puzzle called Sweet Satisfaction. That's going to be so much fun. I am going to love pulling out these pieces of candy. I mean, you've got swirls, you've got sugar candies, you've got, you've got it all. Look at this, just look at this puzzle. I cannot wait to do, do this one. It's a 1,000 piece puzzle, so it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. But like if I work with the striped candy canes, which are right here, and then I, I work on the different blocks, I, I should be able to make some progress with it. So I'm looking forward to it. Now we're gonna look at another series, and this is a six puzzle series for right now. 
I have no idea if it's going to continue. And these are the cutaway puzzles from Masterpieces. The first one is another Noah's Ark. This will be my third Noah's Ark jigsaw puzzle. But this is a cutaways puzzle. Now, the purpose of these cutaway puzzles is you see the inside of something. Like the inside out puzzles that I did for Masterpieces, I did four of those. Well, this one now, they cut away the front of the arc, and you can see all the goings on inside, outside, above, in the water, and around. So this is Noah's Ark. I love it. I cannot wait to do it. My next cutaways puzzle is called Hometown Market. So again, the front of the cover is cut away, front of the store is cut away, and you can see what's going on inside of the market. And then you see some people outside in part of a car. I kind of think these puzzles are going to be a bit challenging because the insides have lots of smallness and it's, it, these are going to keep me busy. Now this one, I don't know if I have anything like this. This is Medieval Castle. Look at this castle, this cutaway castle, Medieval Castle, a 1,000 piece puzzle. Wow. I'm not quite sure when I'm going to get to these cutaway puzzles, but I'm looking forward to it. Then we have this one. This one I don't think will be as hard as some of the others I've shown you, but this is Bank and Brew, another cutaway puzzle. I'm so glad to have been able to get all six. You have no idea how happy I am. This one here is called Camping Lodge, and again, I I think this might be a little easier than say the Noah's Ark or the other one that I showed you because you've got the sky, you've got the water, you got the cabin in the middle and then you have all the inside rooms of the cabin. So, oh goodness gracious, I am so excited to do these. The last of the cutaways puzzle that I have is called Family Barn and here it is right here. This one again will be a challenge. It just looks very, very busy. I love that there's a silo in this picture, and I love sky, so I'm glad for the sky. So this uh, family barn video, uh, puzzle should be a lot of fun. And there's just so much going on in the puzzle. Look at, look at all the different things. These cutaway puzzles, they're amazing. They're just amazing. Like if we say, for example, go back to the camping lodge. I mean, there's so much incredible detail. I'm just... It's super ecstatic to do these puzzles. Okay, so that's the last of my series puzzles. And then the last stack of puzzles that I'm going to show you are these white mountain puzzles that I got mostly from Amazon, but I did get one secondhand, excuse me, mostly from the White Mountain website, but I did get one secondhand. Now this is Winter Games, which I've lined up for the month of December. This one is going to keep me going for a few days, I am sure, with all that snow. But I just loved it, and I was so glad to get it. Winter Games. Then we have Antique Store. And I'm almost sure this is if... Let me see who the artist for Antique Store... Oh, Joel McIntyre. I thought it might have been a different artist. But this is Antique Store, this 1,000-piece white mountain puzzle. This is a very, very busy puzzle, but I love busy, busy puzzles. And you'll always see a lot of busy puzzles in my collection. And this is exactly a good example of that. And again, it's called Antique Store by Joelle McIntyre. Okay, let's, we're gonna save a couple of them, these to last. Great stories. I had this in my wish list on the White Mountain website for a while, and then I took it off, and then I put it back on, and then I was gonna buy it, and I took it out of my cart. Finally, one day I said, you know what? This puzzle keeps calling out to me, so I'm going to, head, going to go ahead and get it. So this great stories puzzle is from the artwork of J. Scott Nicole, and it has books on here like To Kill a Mockingbird, The Great Gatsby, East of Eden, JFK, um, the Boss, The Big Man, Style and Grace, Huckleberry Finn. I mean, look at some of these classics. Can you see them without the glare of the light? Beautiful, beautiful puzzle. And I'm very, very happy that I ended up getting it. And I'm very much looking forward to doing it. 
The next puzzle that I'm showing you here reminds me of the cutaway puzzles that I just showed you from Masterpieces, and I'm going to show you why. Look at this summer house puzzle. Do you see how you see inside all the rooms? So when I saw this, I thought about the cutaways puzzles that I have, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I have got to get this one. So I love this. I love all the imagery on the inside and all the different rooms. I love the porch. Mama's coming out with something, maybe some drinks for her family. You've got the kids playing here. You've got somebody painting right here. I mean, there's just so much going on in this puzzle and I love it. And I might like do this simultaneous to one of the cutaways puzzle. And then the next puzzle that I'm going to show you is bookmarks too. I was going to get this on the White Mountain site, but it came up on one of the Facebook groups and I'm like, oh, let me grab that. So I grabbed it. It's called Bookmarks 2. There was a previous version of the Bookmarks brand, but this one is the one that I was able to get Bookmarks 2. And like I said, I was blessed to get it secondhand. This one here is going to be beautiful. This book nook by Rose Catherine Kahn. Look at this. Look at that. It is so exquisite. So exquisite. There's so much to offer. You've got the beautiful window here. You've got the bookshelves going at an angle there. You've got this painting on the wall. I mean, I just fell in love with this puzzle. I have, now this book nook reminds me of uh, a puzzle I'm working on right now. I'm working on um, Winter Reading Nook, an Amy Stewart puzzle. Obviously the box is empty because I'm working on the puzzle. So this book nook puzzle reminded me of that plus i have a ravensburger puzzle that's similar to this and then the masterpieces puzzle that's similar to this so i kind of know what i like and i buy what i like and i do what i like okay now the last three puzzles are puzzles that i really wanted and i'm going to tell you why this sherry's puzzle popped up on a facebook group about three months ago and it was out of stock forever at White Mountain. And I tried to get it used a couple times. I tried eBay, but I just was never happy with the price. And then it showed up back on the White Mountain site. And I'm like, whoa, I got to get this one. So that's Cherries. Okay, love it. Lois B. Sutton is the artist who created this beautiful puzzle. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm looking forward to putting it together. But when I found Cherries, I also found strawberries yes strawberries my goodness gracious am i looking forward to doing this puzzle strawberries also by lois b sutton last but not least in the theme of fruit we have blueberries now i i meant to buy blueberries when i bought strawberries and cherries but blueberries was out of stock and then i got notified that it came back in stock so i rushed and bought it and it's blueberries. So we got blueberries, you got strawberries, and you got cherries. Three beautiful fruit puzzles that are going to be so much fun to put together. I love, love, love gradient, excuse me, uh, collage type puzzles. And I just noticed something about cherries. You notice the scrabble pieces in there? I just noticed that. So I'm looking forward to doing this and the other two fruit themed jigsaw puzzles. So that's going to be it for this haul video. I want to thank you for watching and I will see you with the next video.